Hi, my name is Tan and I'm from Clang. So these are the two radios that I own, the uh, Radio Master TX16S as well as the Jumper T Lite. And respectively to the right are the external modules that I'm able to insert into these radios. The Radio Master TX16S accepts a micro design, which is this is the TBS Crossfire Micro. Towards the back bay, I would insert it here. While for my jumper T light, it also accepts an external module at the back here, and that would be the TBS Tracer Nano, which inserts as so. So let's just say I want to change this TBS Crossfire Micro into a TBS Crossfire Nano. There is something in the shop that allows this, and that is the TBS Crossfire Retrofit Kit. While alternatively, if I wanted to change this TBS Tracer into a Micro, I would need a TBS Tracer Micro Conversion Kit. So the first conversion I'm going to walk you guys through is to change the TBS Crossfire Micro with a Retrofit Kit into a Nano. And if you want to watch the later part of the video, where I instead convert the TBS Tracer Nano with the conversion kit into a micro, um, skip to this timestamp and watch that conversion process instead. So when you purchase a TBS Crossfire Nano Retrofit Kit, what you'll get is listed over here. You get this um, back of the TX displays with the button here. And also you get one conversion board which um, these are the pins that is accepted by the jumper T light and a screw to mount that in place. And you have two options of the nano bay. This slightly thicker one to the left is I believe for an FR Sky radio, which is uh, not what we'll be working with today. And let's just compare my existing nano. And yes, this is the correct plate. So our first step is to take the uh, board that they have provided with the retrofit kit and um, slot it in there with the GST facing upwards. And with this screw that they have provided, what you need is a 1.5mm uh, hex screwdriver and uh, lock that board into place. And just double check the back if the uh, female pins come out nicely. Okay, and let's uh, put the retrofit kit to the side first while we dismantle this uh, micro TX. So let's start off with the one that's holding the module in. Over here. Let's loosen these two screws. Put it to the side. Alright, so when you open up your bay, you'd see another three more screws over here. Three screws. the three screws remove just uh, slowly pull this out as it will reveal a UFL connector so just remove that as you would a normal UFL connector and uh, let's get the antenna out and the way you get to that is with the um, two 1.5 millimeter hex screw on top So now with that loose, slowly remove this plastic protector. And oh yeah, they do fit this on uh, pretty tight. So grab a uh, bunch of pliers and just, just loosen it and the rest can be done by hand. All right, so let's move back to that side. And we would also want to remove this. Remove this top plate and um, essentially push this SMA down until it comes out from the micro board. And before we work on the SMA and all that, I just wanna run you through the board a little bit. So, cause if you look over here by the um, micro kit, just pay attention to the female pin head. It comes in here and it pops out from the bottom here. And that's the part that is accepted by the Radio Master TX16S. While for the nano kit, We'll place this over here because the USB-C is over there and then when you place this on it wouldn't close because that female pin head is in the way. So 
So let's work to getting rid of it first. And with this, you need some soldering. So this solder joints, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a solder sucker that pumps and extracts. And basically get as much uh, solder as I can out from here. So it's a matter of trying to introduce new solder to the hole and get everything really like heated up and wet for easier extraction. Suck. Okay, so one one way that you could do this is to actually pull out the plastic part. So with enough um, heat and force, if you melt into the plastics a little bit, this uh, tridents will come out from here, but you can kind of fit them back. Let's just say I managed to get the tree out with the plastic, but I have this two left. And um, instead now, I'll be working with some tweezers because careful this thing gets hot. So I'm gonna heat it up from the bottom and uh, basically extract the tridents. So I'm gonna grab a hold of the trident and uh, reach the joint at the bottom, pulling it out like so. But you know, once they're out, you could actually point the fork in towards the receiving end and just uh, fit them in. Whoops. Yeah, place them in like so and uh, kind of tighten them on the table like that. Now, this is um, sort of ready to be reused again later. But if you're worried about the fact that this thing has been damaged, you could always go to the to a computer shop and just buy a whole bunch of them. So the keyword here is um, female pin hit, a five piece female pin hit, meaning five holes at the bottom and five prongs on the top. So this board is considered ready to be placed into the nano kit. So with the antenna that you've taken out of there, uh, grab the Retrofit Kits Nano and uh, basically push the SMA through the bottom of the back plate and with the same orientation of your SMA spacer in and screw this in. Right, that'll do. Okay, so this is how it should look like. Connect the UFL to the board. So just don't force it because it should just fit in naturally. And once you feel the pressure reach, uh, it should be fine. So now that the UFL is connected, um, before we merge this part, you can see at the bottom here there's a JST. And this JST actually connects to this end over here. Let the top enter towards this, plug it in securely, align the USB-C hole, and fit it in as so. Right. And now we'll grab the silver screws and um, lock this board into place. With that, this should close in nice and tight. Right, let's grab the screws. That's secure. And let's get the SME antenna in. So now that that's in, Let's uh, work on getting this screws in. And there you have it. And another note is that since the electronics have moved over to here, when I plug this into the jumper T light, I do not need to bind it back to the quad because the quad is actually attached to this electronics so um, you should be able to just plug this into your jumper T light all right as you can see there's the light conversion complete the micro has been turned into this here nano 
So next I have the TBS Tracer Micro Conversion Kit. So the objective here is to change this TBS Tracer Nano into a Micro. So this is what you get in the um, Micro TX Conversion Kit. You get this um, back plate with the button and the um, USB-C out here. Friend, you actually do get a second SMA. And the other thing you get is the back of the module bay, which um, this is the part that sits in the TX16S. You also get this uh, five female pin head. You can see five holes over here and uh, five prongs in the front, which that will make sense in a while. First, let us open the TBS Tracer Nano Kit. And what you need is a 1.5 millimeter uh, hex screwdriver. And just begin by opening the screws. As you're opening this uh, nano kit, just open it really slowly. It'll make sense in a second. There is a JST. So don't just yank it out. Slowly open it. Let's uh, continue removing these. Uh, keep this separate from the first set of screws. And uh, slowly remove the board because inside here, there's a UFL connector. Let's just plug out the UFL connector. Like so. Let us remove the JST that is connected to this board. We do not need the Nano TX anymore. Let us put it aside here. Uh, first thing you need to know is this uh, five pin female pin hit that they've given is uh, meant to be coming out from the back part of the TBS tracer over here. And with that logic, just look at wherever the USB-C is pointed that plate should actually be sitting over here while the five pin female pin head should be on top over here facing as such. So to achieve this, you need to solder these five pins into these five holes. So let us get our soldering iron and get to work. So just for good measure, I'm just gonna put a bit of flux in there to help me work better. Some flux on every single head. So, what will happen is as I get solder on this, naturally it'll flow down through. Right, great. So, the soldering part is done. What's left is to assemble this. So let's start off by connecting the UFL towards the receiver. Now don't force this. It should sit in place and click. And align the USB-C into the frame. If you align the USB properly like that, the um, screws should fall into place. So let's just work on getting these silver screws in. So now we can place the back plate on and successful connection you can see the female pin hit over there and uh, let's just assemble the rest of this all right nice and secure finally the 
Let's roll in the antenna. There you have it. Previously nano and now micro. Just to emphasize, the nano just now was binded to a few quads. And uh, now that I've basically moved the electronics to this micro, when I plug it into my TX16S, it should recognize the same quads. And you can see over here, I have a green light. There you have it, conversion complete. So there you have it. These two are now converted to the different radios. And I have to give props to the um, PBS for basically making this conversion uh, very easily and painless as the board just kind of switches over and they fit in both micro or nano kits. So the conversion is possible and is as simple as you have just seen. My name is Tan, I'm from Clang. And have a nice day.